Hello, my name is Chris Betcher and I've been invited in to talk to you guys about the subject of interactive whiteboards. And I don't claim to be an expert on interactive whiteboards by any stretch, but I did recently write a book about them with a guy called Mal Lee, uh, called The Interactive Whiteboard Revolution, here it is. And um, one of the things Mal and I tried to get to in writing that book was to move away from just simply thinking about interactive whiteboards on a technical level uh, and worrying about all the sort of, you know, the nuts and bolts stuff and really get into what it means to teach well with them. And we think we explored the idea in lots of interesting ways. We talked to lots of people as we wrote the book and asked them how they actually used interactive whiteboards to teach more effectively and came up with some really, I think, interesting insights into, into what's possible. Um, Anna Curry, who is uh, one of the people behind this course, has asked me to come along and, and chat to you guys in a live session at the end of this week. Uh, and I hope as many of you can make that as possible um, because uh, what I'd like to do is to take you through some of some of the ideas uh, in the book and also some other ideas that have sort of been generated because of discussions that came from that originally uh, and just and just get you thinking about what it means to be a good teacher when you've got an interactive whiteboard in your class and just to get you started on that I want you to think about this question during the week and that is what does good teaching with an interactive whiteboard look like? So if you were to walk into my classroom or someone's classroom and they were teaching with an interactive whiteboard, how do we know when we're seeing the technology actually being used effectively and how do we know when we're seeing the technology being used as, a, as an add-on or something that's just sort of superficially sitting over the top of what takes place in that classroom? And I'm really interested in getting to the heart of what that technology can actually offer in terms of of making the learning that takes place for the kids better. Not just necessarily more engaging, because that's a given, they're, they're, they're fun, they put them on the wall and things are bright and colourful and things move, and there is an engagement factor, but I want to go beyond engagement factor and really start to dig into how does it help learning get better. And what I want you to think about between now and when we speak later in the week is what does that look like? How do I know when I walk into a classroom and I see that taking place? All right, so that's that's your homework between now and then is to just think about some of those issues and we can have a chat about it later in the week. I look forward to talking to you then. Bye.